But actually, at first, I had no idea what it was. As I am a physicist myself, I, I was new, really new to this project and new to paleontology. I was working on this 3D render from the CT scan from the Scotty Rib. So I just saw this interesting structure that was kind of weaving its way uh, in between the normal bone structure. And I, was just, I just showed this off to my, my supervisors, uh, Mauricio and Ryan, and they, right away they're just, they, they were on me like, we have something here, right? And only in this kind of area we were able to see uh, what appears to be kind of preserved vascular structure inside the bone, which is uh, not very common to see preserved at all in uh, millions of years ago uh, dinosaur bones. But this is very rare, right? There was a one find, found like the finding like this by a, about 2005. That was uh, some people in the U.S. found uh, blood vessels in a T-Rex too. That's too pliable, and they even tried to see if they could extract DNA and so forth. Uh, but like this, that that's it. So it's a remnant of soft tissues that we can actually see, and these soft tissues can help us uh, understand dinosaurs more than just the original hard mineralized parts. If we can find more of this, so more of this kind of a soft tissue preservation, not necessarily the original material, but the structure. And they can then use this to compare with extant anim animals. The animals that are still walking today, some, for instance, dinosaurs, some relatives of dinosaurs like birds and crocodiles and all the sort of reptiles around. Um, that is it's going to be extremely important to understand how animals evolved from millions and millions of years ago you know, and came to be what we have nowadays. There's a lot more analysis to be done. Uh, so we have our main CT scan. There's a lot of uh, different chemical analysis we want to do. Basically, it amounts to going back to the Canadian light source. Um, and there's various different chemical analysis techniques that they provide. The Canadian light source select you no know, different kind of uh, um, uh, wavelength of those forms of radiation that are specific for different kind of research. And some are just fine for what we want, or we want to do with the dinosaurs. We can see very tiny little things. We can image, we can see the chemistry. So then we can take these bones here to the Canadian light, light sink. There's plug in there and we have you know, a, a kind of a universe of data to look at. In some ways we are kind of uh, not trying to emulate Jurassic Park uh, exactly, but uh, we're kind of on our way looking for any kind of organic material. Unfortunately, we're, from the best knowledge, DNA will preserve past around 100,000 years or so uh, in the fossil record. So millions of years ago, uh, 65 million plus years ago for uh, the time of dinosaurs uh, is way far off at that point, but we always got to keep looking and probing even deeper to see uh, if we could possibly find uh, something close to, say, DNA or uh, proteins.